Hi there, let's quickly take a look at the chat system. First thing we can do is we can build the app. These are all the source files that you can see on the left. On go build, you see a new file is generated that is SkyChat. Let's execute that SkyChat. Here we can optionally, we can optionally specify what address we need. So hyphen a d e r and here we can say, all right, let's uh, listen to 1313. And what that does is that creates a server that's listening to port 1313 and I'm not kidding this is true and we can verify that by connecting to this port so we are using telnet here which is a bi-directional text-based interface so here we have telnet localhost 1313 let's try to connect to that and that gets connected and as you can see here new client joins so that is essentially the remote address of this client so that's going on let's close that we check that it's working clear it but what if we don't supply any address what happens then well of course then it will have a default and that's 8080 and so now that we have the server running let's try and see what the chat system can do let's create two clients for simplicity here are the two clients and again connect to the port 8080 uh, the first thing we can do is we can see we can seek for some help and the chat will say okay these are the commands that you can use the first thing we can do then is tell the server who we are so I am alpha and so it says okay you will be known by alpha and then here we create name beta and that creates you will be known as beta and uh, let's say we had one more client uh, just to uh, you know make sure that um, this does work on multiple clients too and then we will come back to the simplicity name uh, let's say gamma I will be known as gamma now these other people or users that are currently on the server these three alpha beta and gamma so for any of the user if they list they will see everyone on the server but themselves of course because that, that makes sense alpha and gamma now what if someone quits gamma quits so she's quitting sky chat will miss you and if you check again for the list you see there's only alpha and so gamma is gone all right now let's try some messaging functionality it's a chat system right so here we can say message because here i can see messages to send message to a recipient so if you can say message hello and press enter but it says no one hears you this is because we need to specify who we need to talk to uh, think of this like when you select your contact on whatsapp or facebook to whom you want to talk since uh, we don't have such user interface it's terminal it's so much better let's join a user essentially select a user that you want to talk to and so join join beta how would you know if there's a beta a gamma alpha epsilon or so on well you can simply list the available users as we did before and based on those names you can join them but what if you try to do something exciting like join batman no such user exists he's probably busy working nights anyways let's try something else we had joined beta so you're not now talking to beta let's try and message someone message hello and so although we were not able to connect to Batman he's a busy guy right the message hello came here on beta let's see what beta can do so beta instantly sees the message from alpha and tries to respond back writing message hi there but hey no one hears you follow below steps to get started again this is because no one hears him because he has not selected whom this message should be sent to so here we can again check the list alpha and then we can join the list join the user alpha and so this specifies who we are talking to now if we send a message say hi again it is traveling to alpha so that is the basic message system 
uh, let's try something else what if I try and do something crazy yet again let's say something rubbish well that's not a command so that won't work and what if I quit well of course we can quit like that and that will close the connection and here while beta has closed his connection he's not on the server anymore if alpha tries to message him again message you up for the game oops arrow keys don't work here i forgot no one hears him this is because beta has already left the server so that's the basic system we can quit and it ends the connection again now one funny thing that we can see here is that these messages were being encrypted here we can see encrypting messages sending the message encrypting sending so what's happening is we are encrypting the messages and we can quickly have a demo where i can show you what happens if we don't decrypt it so this is the part where we are decrypting it okay what did i do wrong yeah this will go let's kill the server clear it and build it again and then we'll say okay sky chat it's listening to port 8080 let's quickly open up two clients and we'll quickly do this we'll say okay telnet telnet again we'll say the name is alpha name is beta and let's join because we already know join alpha here and join beta here let's try and see what happens when alpha tries to message knock knock hmm. uh, you can see this garbage here this is because uh, we are not de decrypting the messages anymore so what happens is when we create the user alpha uh, a public and private key pair is generated for him and that public key pair is available on the server uh, which acts as an identifier for a client so what happens here is knock knock we take knock knock the message and then we encrypt it using beta's public key that we have access to through the server and because so when the when this message gets sent over here here this is what he gets this is garbage value because it's encrypted it's kind of like garbage right so uh, what happens then is because this is based on beta's public key he can decrypt it because he has the private key and so that's what happens when we decrypt it so let's quickly uh, to the power of git undo what we have done and so that brings it back to the state and here we are you know decrypting essentially this part is for de decryption so let's cut it out build it again and run it and okay we have lots of lots of clients now uh, let's close a few it's getting confusing yep clear it clear it start connection and now again if we say name alpha join we'll join beta name is beta and here we'll join beta and this one will join alpha and right now if we say message hello again we get hello this is because the garbage that we got that we had gotten earlier that is being decrypted so this is essentially what the chat is and it works on tcp it's pretty cool thanks for watching let's kill the server